Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to use custom code within your Flutterflow project. So there are generally three types of custom code. There are custom functions, custom widgets, and custom actions. For custom functions, you can watch our existing tutorial on how to use those. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on custom widgets and custom actions. So we can start by creating a custom widget go here, hit create. And now what you see here, on the left, this is where you give the widget a name, you define its parameters, that is like what you're going to pass in to this widget, and any pub spec dependencies that you might need. So as an example, we're going to create a pie chart. And what we'll use for this is a nice package called pie chart that already exists on pub dev. So we'll copy this and make sure to add it as a dependency here. And we'll go ahead and hard code the version 5.1.0 so it doesn't change out from under us all of a sudden. And so width and height are required parameters so that your custom widget has defined dimensions, which is useful for your layouts and also for us to display it in the Flutterflow Builder. What we can also do is add a couple parameters. So for now, we'll add one for color. This will define one of the colors of our pie chart. And we'll set this data type to color. You have a range of options here of parameters that you can pass in from color, icon, to all of your other standard parameters uh, that you might want to use. Another parameter we'll pass in is, say, name. So the name of one of our entries. And this will just be a string. Okay. So we're ready to start coding. Uh, the best place to start is view boilerplate code. This will show you the outline of the code for your custom widget. So it'll pass in all the parameters here, define them here, and um, what we can do to start is copy to editor. And just like in custom functions, it's a standard editor that you can use to define your widget. Let's throw some enthusiasm in there. Uh, okay. So I won't spend time actually coding our example widget. I'll just paste another one that I've created elsewhere here. And now what we'll do is hit compile and preview so we can actually make sure that our widget compiles and we can see it in our builder. So we'll hit compile. Please stay on the line. Your call is very important to us. Okay, thank goodness. And now we've generated our preview. We can do things like set the height and width, uh, set the color of the top result, and of course, set our parameter. So there you have it. We have our fully functioning custom widget. We'll hit save here. And we can now use this in the UI builder. So all we have to do is go to components and there'll be a section at the top for custom code widgets. And we can just drag and drop our FF pie charts. And of course we can set our parameters with height. And we can even edit things like the color of this top result. And of course, ugh, let's undo that. And of course, um, the name here if we wanted to. Yeah. And that's all there is. We've successfully created a custom widget and used it in our project. Uh, so now I'm going to show you all how to use custom actions. So custom actions allow you to perform any kind of arbitrary uh, action or behavior when an object is tapped, double tap, or etc. And to do that, we'll add a button, just like we would normally. We can add it. Uh, and we'll call it surprise. And so, and now what we'll want to do is go to custom code, 
go to custom actions and create a custom action. So we're going to call our action surprise. And for this, we actually need the build context. So for those who are familiar in Flutter, um, some actions you may want to have the build context included, others you may not. Um, we'll check that. And just like custom functions, we can set a return value. So maybe this custom action will return a string. And of course, we can you know, define arguments in the same way uh, that we can otherwise. Uh, for now, we, we won't add any arguments here. And similarly, we can add dependencies. So you know, I may add something like that. And once again, we can hit view boilerplate code. And you can see this is our boilerplate code for this action. So I'll copy the code. Actually, just copy it here to the editor. And once again, I'll just copy in another custom action that we had. And just like before, we can hit check errors and compile to make sure that our custom action works and will work in Flutterflow. Um, but what we can also do is just go ahead and save. And you'll see this button for compile code, which will actually compile and check errors for all of our custom widgets and all of our custom actions at once. So we can go ahead and hit that button. And our custom action will be compiled along with our custom widgets in just a few moments. A few moments later. And there we have it. It's successfully compiled. So now in the UI builder, all we have to do is tap on our button that we want to add the custom action to and add actions. So we'll add an action. We'll say custom action is the type. And we'll select surprise. This is our custom action. And surprise returns a string value, which you can see here in the return type. And so it has an output variable, which we'll call just result. And one of the cool things we can do, as we'll just add another action here, is use that result in a subsequent action. So for example, we will just like show a snack bar and have its value, the message, come from this output result. And with that, we are ready to test out our custom action. So unlike custom widgets where you can see it visually here in the UI builder, for this one, we'll have to actually run it to show you how it actually looks. So we successfully built our app. And as you can see, Here's our custom widget. And now let's test out our custom action. Huzzah! And here's our snack bar. Yay. So there you have it. That's how you create custom widgets and custom actions in your Flutterflow project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.